What is up guys, welcome back to another play review. We are going to be looking at Man of the Match, Mandzukic, the transferred version of course at Atletico Madrid. I was actually trying to put him with Aubameyang, you know, in the Bundesliga team and I forgot, I for some reason completely forgot he got transferred. So, if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coin, check out Patelier.com, their link will be in the description and use the code Itani to get 5% off. If you're looking for a cheap place to get FIFA 15 on PC, check out G2A, their link will also be in the description, they're selling it for 26 pounds now to begin with i'm going to be talking about if there's anything different between this man of the match card and the non-inform i'm not going to be comparing him for, uh, between him and team of the season because the team of the season version is a lot better which is self-explanatory really because of how much different the stats are so you see how we were calling the team of the season head Zukic. well this guy i wouldn't really call him head Zukic because he does not score as many headers as the team of the season card now when it comes down to the non-inform i felt heading wise there wasn't much different so you're going to cross it as many times with the non-inform and you will score probably as many goals with the non-inform as the man of the match card if you just want to cross it or if you want to buy the man of the match just to see uh, a heading improvement you will not that is what I saw with this one now very good finish in the penalty area but then again the non-inform is a very good finisher so had no problems with both and I've played with the non-inform and this one quite a lot now and good strength and aggression this guy has 99 aggression and you'll definitely feel that upgrade in game but the major upgrade I felt was his shooting so he has also three star skills and three star weak foot but his weak foot I actually scored a couple of goals with it so I'm not going to put it as a disadvantage and you'll see a couple of goals with his left foot in this video his positioning wasn't that bad as well so um, he does have high and high work rates but he wasn't that out of position for me he wasn't well his positioning just let's say wasn't a major problem now let's get back to shooting I scored quite a bit of shots outside the penalty area of this guy and normally with a non-inform I would not be capable of doing that he has really good finesse shots outside the penalty area but like 99% of the players they have really good finesse shots as well now you'll be buying this guy as a target man and he's definitely suitable as that but there isn't that much difference to you know for for the upgrade so if you have the non-inform and you're trying to buy the, the, the man of the match because the team season card is just too expensive I really wouldn't suggest the upgrade the price difference and what you're getting for it isn't that much so keep that in mind guys with three star skills and he doesn't feel much different to the non-inform I definitely don't recommend him unless you like the color orange so basically don't get me wrong guys I, this guy is an amazing player in ultimate team Mandzukic is awesome in this game but I'm just trying to let you guys know and trying to engrave in your brain that there isn't much difference between the non-inform and the man of the match card. How many times did I repeat that in the in this video? Who knows? Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. Mandzukic comes with a ton of benefits when you purchase him, but there's only a small couple of disadvantages, and I only gave him nine because he's really similar to the non-inform. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and hope you guys have a very nice day.